Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to make some chicken marsala without the wine, okay? So chicken marsala without the marsala. But we're going to use a substitute for that. So let me share with you the ingredients that we're gonna need to make this wonderful dish, even though we're making a substitute. We'll be using chicken breasts, and I'm using the thinly sliced chicken breast and it's already been washed and patted dry. We have some chicken stock here and I was able to make my chicken stock by using my Better Than Bouillon roasted, roasted chicken base. Then we have our white grape juice and this is actually what I'm using for my Marsala substitute. We have some heavy whipping cream. We need some distilled white vinegar. Some Dijon mustard. I have some thyme and uh, parsley in here. Then we have some mushrooms, you guys. The recipe calls for mushrooms. We don't really care for the shrooms, but it's like I felt like I needed to have some, at least for presentation. So I'm only using a few. And then we have a shallot here. And I have some fresh garlic that I need to mess up. Of course, we're going to be using some butter. And then I also went outside and got some fresh um, parsley from my little Italian herb garden that I have out there that I've already washed and um, chopped up. Okay, so we're going to let that get heated up and start to melt. And in the meantime, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to my chicken breast. And here I have some flour and I didn't feel the need to salt and pepper both sides of this chicken so I just did one side and then we're going to add it to the melted butter and olive oil as I'm flouring I'm going to make sure that I'm shaking off all of that excess flour. One more piece to add. And we're going to save some of this flour because we're going to knead it as we're making our, our sauce, if you will. And let me wash my hands again and wash this because I'm, I'm going to need to add the chicken back to this platter and then cover it with foil. Turn the chicken, it's been a few minutes. And we're gonna let it cook about three or four minutes on this side. Now 
now we're going to remove the chicken. I had started cutting up my garlic. And I need to finish dicing my garlic and my shallots. In the meantime, we're going to cover this chicken with foil. And just in case you've never seen a shallot, the shallot grows like the um, like a garlic bulb, and it has a sweet, delicate flavor with maybe like a hint of sharpness, but that's how the shallots grow. They grow in a bulb like the garlic. And in the same skillet, with the drippings from the chicken, I'm gonna add a little more butter. And then we're gonna add our mushrooms. And when I say I did a few, it is just a few. For presentation only. those start to brown. So as the mushrooms are browning, I'm dicing up the shallots to add to the pan. Ground on one side, so I'm flipping over the, the mushrooms. Can I tell you that is just a few? It is just a few. Breaking up all of those good, all that residue from the chicken that cooked. The heat was on a medium high, so I'm trying to turn it down just a tad bit. Okay, now we're going to add a, a little bit more or a little bit of that flour that we had used earlier.
Okay, now I'm going to add my chicken broth. Add it slow because it will steam. on high so this is going to have to come to a boil. And about a tablespoon of my vinegar. has to come to a boil. So once it starts to boil, we're going to turn it down so it can simmer and then it's going to reduce. So we'll let it simmer for about seven minutes, seven to ten minutes or so. Okay, now we're going to add about a fourth of a cup of our heavy cream. To that we're going to add a teaspoon of our Dijon mustard. Parsley. That was the dried parsley. And we'll wait and top it with the fresh parsley once we're done. So now we're going to add the chicken back. this on there too. Pour that back in there. Pop back on and let it simmer for maybe about 15 minutes or so. Are you gonna try this? Did he just fix his plate? Why are you looking like 
ain't that. <laughs> it's chicken masala. The mushrooms. What's the trunk? The mushrooms. <laughs> I don't want the mushrooms. <laughs> okay, let me say. I tried. I told y'all we don't eat mushrooms. Okay, let me take them off. You I'm, sound like Steve. I'm chicken in my cellar, but I'm not going to eat the mushrooms. <laughs> okay, take them off. Yeah. I told you guys they were just for presentation because they weren't having it. You can have these. But I only put a few because I knew well, you I'm were going to give you back a few. <laughs> give you back a few. Well, baby. taste the chicken. You can, have, you can have a few mushrooms. Thank you, baby. I'm not going to eat them either. You guys, I've never fixed this before. So. And you're supposed to use marsala wine. Zip it, please. Good texture. Uh, you don't need to quit. I don't know why you keep trying to act like you know what you're talking about. But it is a little different taste to it. But it's good. It's good. It's um. You have enough gravy on there? Uh, on the, the sauce? Is it wrong to eat the chicken mushroom, chicken masala, masala? Masala, baby. Yeah, chicken masala as a sandwich. As a sandwich? It's clean. Yeah, put the chicken on a sandwich and eat it. Chicken Why, masala be sandwich. That'd be good on some bread. Yeah, some bread. You want a piece of bread? Mm -hmm. What kind of bread? Yeah, give me a piece of bread. I just toasted a piece of You guys, I'm going to be wasting bread. If we have some buns that we've haven't, we've not eaten, um, like after we've done burgers or whatever. There's a taste of trying to grab in here. The buns kind of sit there. I use it and just put some butter on it and we just eat it with dinner. It's is there a, a vinegar? Um, it's a little hint. Okay. Yeah. Okay, see, I'm oh, good. 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 It's just, But it's just a little bit. And then I substituted the white grape juice for the marsala. Mm. So what's a marsala? It's some type of wine. Oh, so this is a grape salad. You're so silly. What you looking for? It says juicy. It looked like when I took it on. Let me taste the little piece because I'm not really. Well, let me taste the little piece. Mm -hmm. You got the, the fork or something on Yeah, I did. Um, I see right there. It looks like the fat. Oh. I want oh, a big piece. It's called a tendon. I call it tendon, all the, you know, the chicken, chicken tendon, yeah. yeah. I was trying not to, um, to cut it up before. Mm -hmm. so, that's a hint, just a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Push the nosy. Push the nosy. Bye. How you got me talking about push the nosy? <laughs>